counting down to first pitch in Miami tonight. It's the Phillies and the Marlins next. Humid night for baseball. MLB The Show welcomes you to the Sunshine State, Miami, Florida, the site for this edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, game one of this three-game series is set to get underway as it'll be the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Florida Marlins. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskirchen here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell and Eric Karros are by my side. And Dave, we turn to you. What's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Well, it may turn out to mean nothing at all, but I'm interested to see what kind of difference this crowd can make on the game. The three of us have been doing ball games for a number of years now, and we've seen some instances where the crowd has definitely affected the outcome of the game. I'm not saying that'll happen here, but it's something to at least keep an ear out for. All right, Dave, and we'll hear from Eric momentarily, but for now, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the four-time defending NL Eastern Division champion Philadelphia Phillies, and it's brought to us by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And they'll go to work against the no-hit kid from back in 2008, the slender right-hander Clay Buckholtz. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Into the box is the leadoff hitter Shane Victorino, and we are just about set to get this one underway. Pitch is taken for ball one as we're underway tonight in South Florida. First pitch, seven o'clock. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. Temperature here at game time, a comfortable 75 degrees tonight. And he'll try and catch him by surprise here as he drops this one down but a foul ball one and two the count now and this is fouled straight back and this one's hit on the ground but foul And boy, well hit, but out of play into the stands in deep right. He'll try again, one, two. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. And this is taken by Victorino to even the count at two and two. And these long at-bats give you a good sense of what a guy's featuring here in the first inning. Too high, ball three. This is an unbelievable at-bat. I mean, uh, this is perseverance at its best. Oh, 
And the payoff pitch is reached for and sent on the ground to third. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Our umpires tonight, there they are, the pride of Novato, California, Clyde Washington behind the plate. Earl Hendricks over at first. Crew Chief Mac Harvey's at the bag at second. And Chuck Price will handle duties at third. So one gone in the inning now for Placido Polanco. And a strike at the knees. More like at the shins, but it's nothing in one. And pretty obvious that he didn't care for that call too much. You can see the look of disgust there. And a curveball taken for strike two. Uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first called strike. That's still on his mind. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. He'd obviously love a one, two, three here to start the first. And after a ground out and a strikeout, he's two thirds of the way there. Chase Utley will stride in. He did his part yesterday afternoon as he came through with three hits in the losing effort. And even though he's retired the first couple of guys here in the first, they've made him work for it so far. And he takes a cold strike one. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Now a ball hit high in the air and deep down the line in left. But this will land foul just shy of the wall. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. That's Fouled back. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. Sanchez is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So they're set down one, two, three in the first by Clay Bucko. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. Now the starting lineup for the Marlins is put together by skipper Edwin Rodriguez looks like this. They'll square off versus statistically one of the best starting pitchers in postseason history. The former Cy Young Award winner left-hander Cliff Lee.
Now we'll look at the way the Phillies will line up behind him. Into the box here is the shortstop Hanley Ramirez as he'll lead things off in the bottom of inning number one. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. It out toward Brown in right field. One down. Chris Coglin will step in working on a nice five game hitting streak. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Bases are empty, one man out. Coughlin awaiting the 1-1. One, one. And there's ball two now. Not a bad spot to miss. He might even go chase it out there. Boy, he's just saying, where do I have to put it? Three and one now. I think Lee's out there saying, boy, I got to have that. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Well, this is turning into a real dogfight now. Payoff hey, pitch coming. Pull the trigger, and there are two away. Boy, and this is just one of those spots where there's not a guy around that was going to do anything with this location. Here it is, knee high on the inside corner. There was no way for him to pull the trigger on that one. Gabby Sanchez will stand in.
And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Out of play. Inside and high with that one. One ball, two strikes. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. And he likes to put that thought in your mind that he's not afraid to come in with the hard stuff. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Swing and a drive. Deep left field, way back there, and this is going to clear the wall by plenty. It's a home run. Gabby Sanchez with the solo home run. Number 10 for him on the year, as the Marlins will take a 1 to nothing lead. Well, with two outs and nobody on, if you've got power, hey, you go for it. I mean, he just keeps those hands high. Drives right on through the baseball. Pull extension. That ball ain't coming back. Michael Stanton will come forward now. Back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night. There's that circle change of his, but it's outside for ball one. And don't dwell on that home run ball, because if you're not focused, this guy can take you out over the wall as well. Here's Lee now on 1-0. And that's in there for his strike one and one. That was a dangerous spot there for a good fastball hitter. Good thing he was taking. Look at a fastball here that's close, but it's two and one now. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line. Look at the stop. And he'll get to the bag in time. What a do-it-yourself masterpiece. Marlins get one on the Gabby Sanchez long ball. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 1-0 Florida. Ryan Howard leads things off now in the top half of the second. First offering on the way. 
Now a ball line fouled a deep right and out of play. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. And, and he's got that thing moving pretty good here in the first few innings. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball, one gone. And there's something he wasn't doing in his last outing, and that's pitching to the outside corner. If he can keep his pitches out there, he's going to have a lot more success this time around. So with the leadoff man retired, that'll bring up the right fielder, Dominic Brown. swing and an easy ground ball to first up with it is Sanchez and Sanchez will take this himself three unassisted for the put out Carlos Ruiz will come forward now back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off Ball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. And this catches the outside corner. Strike one. Boy, and he has been razor sharp these first two innings. will be lined into center field and they've got themselves their first hit of the ball game. And that'll break the string of five straight to start the night. They finally get their first base runner here with two outs in the second. Good to at least get something on this guy before he really settles into a groove out there. Wilson Valdez will stride in now, back in the lineup after being limited to pinch hit duties in yesterday's ball game. First pitch coming. Lays off 1-0. And no threat to run over there at first. So with two away, you can focus all your energy squarely on this guy. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2-0 and now. And let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. Here's the 2-0 pitch. And there's the first strike, 2-1. and one. Yeah, it's hard to look for a change up there, especially when a guy's got a good live fastball. Two out with the man at first. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. and one. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. And 
that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Tries to bust the fastball in his hands that time on three and two, and that was a good pitch. It locked him up, but it winds up being ball four anyway. Two men on, two out, and here's the versatile Rob Quinlan. And this ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Fouled back. From the stretch. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses 1-2. And if you throw enough fastballs in succession, guys are going to time it. So be careful. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. Sanchez will put this one away and the side is retired. No runs, a hit, two left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Marlins lead this one, one to nothing. Ronnie Belliard will stand in here. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1-0. and He'll look for something a little higher. Hit hard, but foul. A 1-1 from Lee. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. Ooh. Awfully close to strike three. Probably should have been strike three. Instead, it's two and two now. Boy, nothing comes easy, does it? And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. And the payoff pitch here is hit on the ground down to third. So by Polanco's in time for the first out. John Buck will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night.
And this one runs up high. Ball one. And he misses again, 2-0. and oh. Strike on the inside corner, two and one. Swing and a bouncing ball behind second. There to get it is Utley. Throw in time to retire the slow-footed Buck for the second out. Scott Cousins will get his first shot at it here. Now he runs up and gets this one down. And Howard will amble over to the bag for the putout, and that ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We played two full. Florida's out in front, one to nothing. Cliff Lee ready to go here as we begin the third. Pitch on the way. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. And this is fouled back and out of play. Out in front a bit as this is pulled down the line to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Well, it's always nice to get the inning started against the pitcher. And he sets him down easily for the first out of the third. So one gun in the inning for Shane Victorino. Nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Now the 1 0 pitch. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Hard hit towards center. Coglin is there now, and he has it, two gone. Mm -hmm. 
the minute he hits that, he, he's thinking it's a base hit all the way, but this is one of those situations where you, know, you get penalized for hitting the ball too hard. And this stayed up long enough to find the outfielder's glove out there. So two are gone in the inning now for Placido Polanco. Curveball just misses, apparently, 1-0. He's got to keep his hand steady on a pitch inside like that. Polanco awaits the 1-0. Now a ball hit hard but foul as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger. And Polanco looks at one that misses and the count goes to 2-1. and one. Hung that one out there a bit, but it's a cold strike two and two. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. There to take it is Ramirez. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. A good inning of work there from Clay Buckle. Still working on a 1-0 lead. Wes Helms will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. Ball 1 0. Here's Lee now on 1 0. Tried to get some loft to that swing, but it's one and one. And that four-seamer had some burst at the end. toward Victorino in center field. And he puts it away for the first down. There's definitely a lot of scoreboard watching going on at this time of year, and these guys are no exception. But you really have to focus on the task at hand and not get swept up in what other teams do. You just have to take care of your own business. Clay Buckle will get his first cuts here. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. That's foul. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And he misses with it one and one. And just one hit for this guy in the campaign, so a second might be a bit of a surprise.
Now the pitch. And he gets under a fastball here as this is lifted the other way to left center. Quinlan will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. He's been able to bounce back strongly after that first inning home run, and he's set down six in a row now since then. Hanley Ramirez will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1. Boy, he's just sailing along now. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. And if he can get through this guy, that would be back-to-back -back, one, two, three innings. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Florida down in order, but they're up one to nothing. Chase Utley will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. First pitch coming. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Tough guy to face here to start this inning. And that misses 2-0. and And he's got a tough task here going through the 3, 4, and 5. So you hate to fall behind the first guy. And here's a fastball for a strike. 2-1 and one now. Ah, boy, when you're a middle of the lineup guy and you get a good one to hit 2 and 0, oh, you got to turn it loose. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So one gone in the inning as now Ryan Howard will hit with the bases empty. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And the pitch. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit well out toward deep left field. Cousins is going to have room, though, as he backs up to put it away. And there are two men gone. Now 
Dominic Brown will take his cuts now. Dominic Brown. another first pitch strike and he's just running rough shot right through this lineup well they just have not put up much of a fight I, I totally agree he's had his way out there from the word go now here it comes That's off the plate and in it's a ball and a strike And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. And it looks like he's found a nice release point on that curveball. The pitch. Now he goes the other way with a fastball, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. But this will stay in the park as it's off the wall out there. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Ball pretty well struck, and that didn't miss a home run by very much at all. You see it hit high off the wall there, and he's able to cruise in with a stand-up double. Carlos Ruiz will be the batter. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Marlins on top, one to nothing. Friday night baseball here on the show as we check out the East Coast scores, knowing there's more action to come later tonight out on the West Coast. Chris Coughlin will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. Comes with a fastball as this is lifted the other way out to left center. Quinlan will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't look like much has changed here to start this inning either. That's eight in a row now he's set down. Now so one away in the inning now, and that'll bring in the first baseman, Gabby Sanchez.
Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. And right now, boy, you're looking for any kind of base runner. Something to get this guy out of the groove he's been in. And here's his fastball for a called strike one, and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. Now a swing and a grounder foul wide of third. The one-two home from Lee. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. To right field. And this will be taken in by Brown as he's got it for the second out. And you just get the sense that he's got it on cruise control out there now. Make it nine in a row he's set down. Michael Stanton will dig in here. Now a swing and the ball hit high in the air into shallow left center. Valdez is there and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We played four full. It's the Marlins one and the Phillies nothing. Wilson Valdez will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Now the pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. And looking down at the score sheet in front of me, he's managed only two strikeouts in the game so far. But what he has been able to do is keep the ball down, and he gets another ground ball out here. Rob Quinlan will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now a soft liner to the right side, but foul. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Now here's the pitch. Boy, right down the middle for strike two. And he's done everything right on the mound so far. The mistakes have been almost non-existent. Fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. Cousins will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. And sometimes this is all you have to do. Throw a ton of strikes and keep the ball in the yard. It's worked for him so far. 
Cliff Lee will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Close, it's in the dirt for ball one. Here's the 1 0. -oh. One and one. Pretty tough duty trying to get around on that pitch. No contact there, and it's one and two. He's closing in on putting up yet another zero. Ball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Pitch on the way. Ah, changed up on him here, but this is lined into left field for a base hit. Well, two-out single right there, and that constitutes a rally the way this one's gone. Let's see if they can do anything with it. So a runner at first with two away, and here's the versatile outfielder Shane Victorino. Starts him out with a fastball too low for ball one. And after you allow base hit to the pitcher, you've got to bounce back quickly and put it out of your mind. No, he did not. Ball two. Very enticing, but a good job holding up. Now the 2-0. Reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third. But this will get foul. Two and one. Victorino able to lay off again, and he's in a good spot now, up three and one. And you don't want this inning to go any further than this, so I think he'll probably get something to hit here. Swing and a miss as he was way early on that one. Three and two. And now that runner on first should be on the move here with two outs. Now the three and two pitch. Now he takes something off there as this is skied out to fairly deep center field. 
And the catch made there by Coglin to retire the side. Philly strand one. They're down one nothing. Ronnie Belliard will be the batter. Here's the first offering. Line hard into left. Quinlan is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. A little bit over halfway home tonight. Bottom of the fifth as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys. And they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. So one away in the inning. And that'll bring up the catcher, John Buck. Ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. One run, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Grounded foul. That's foul. Swing and a miss there on a good pitch, and Buck is retired for out number two. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And both guys have been coming with some low to mid-90s heat here, 96 versus 93 as the top two speeds thus far. Scott Cousins will stand in. in the at-bat with a good change up there for strike one. And now when you plant that seed on the first pitch, you can really go anywhere from here. <laughs> Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. And, and he's pitching this inning just like he's double parked. Everything's been in the strike zone here. Fastball and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. And with two outs and two strikes, the last thing you want to do is hit a guy and prolong the inning. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is taken high for a ball, and that's just a bad call there. Should have been strike three. Instead, it's two and two. And he's going to get a second life here. That should have been strike three. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And this ball's pulled on the ground down the line to first. 
But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at-bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. One, two, three go the Marlins, but they lead it one to nothing. Placido Polanco will take his cuts now. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. And even though you're not getting much run support to speak of, you really need to just focus on doing your job on the mound. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Two zero on the way, and that's over. Two and one. Hit on the ground towards first. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. And a flip goes to Buckholtz covering for the out. Yeah, he could have given up on this one, but he regrouped and got his man anyway. So the leadoff man set down now for Chase Utley. Just misses for ball one. And this is a guy that can run into one every now and then, so he can't be taken lightly, especially in only a one-run game. Utley awaits the 1-0. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. One out, nobody on. Now a curveball here is banged into center field, and he'll reach on a base hit. And I'll tell you, here's a guy that's starting to bring himself into the MVP discussion. I mean, the numbers are there, and he's been about as consistent as anyone in baseball, and he's got another sharp single right here. Ryan Howard will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Ball one. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And you can tell he's starting to get a little jumpy out there. 
He's got to take his time and really focus in on the glove. And he watches this one in there for a high strike. And I would be wary about giving him another pitch there. Runners on first with one down. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. At first is Utley, the pitch. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. And now on three and two, let's see if he gets a fastball here. This is hit weakly in fair territory up the line. Throw on to Sanchez is in time, two away. Well, this is a ball not hit sharply enough to get two, so that's a smart play to take the sure out. Dominic Brown will dig in. He doubled his last time. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. And there's ball one. And he doubled earlier tonight. He'd certainly love another one right here. not close it's two and one now and remember the runner at seconds off at the crack of the bat here yeah. two out here and a runner at second and this one's low here so the count swells to three and one Ball four, but it's in there. Three and two. Going a little more with the breaking ball here as he goes along. We didn't see it as much the first few times through. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. Well, he's been able to keep these guys off the scoreboard to this point, so this may be nothing more than a blip on the radar screen. But now he's got two base runners to deal with out there, so they could be on the verge of a breakthrough here against him. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone, and stepping in is the catcher, Carlos Ruiz. takes ball one and the Phils know that one key hit here could make a big impact on the outcome of the ball game and the catcher Buck can't even get a glove on this one as it goes right by but surprisingly, no advance here. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Foul 
held back. Swing and a sinking line drive to right field. And that will fall in front of Stanton. It's a base hit. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. And you can see the pitching coach heading for the mound. And this is nothing more than just trying to reassure your guy and give him a chance to compose himself. I mean, he's been great so far, so there's no reason to think that he can't work out of this. Wilson Valdez will step in, a ground out victim as last time. First pitch to him. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1-0. And now that they've tied it, you can bet they're thinking, let's not stop here. We've got one more out there in scoring position. Now a ball mined to the right side. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Ah, and just a great approach there with two away. You can see this pitch is away, so instead of trying to pull it, he just takes it the other way, and he's able to pick up the two-out RBI. Here comes Marlins manager Edwin Rodriguez now on his way to the mound, and it looks as though that's going to be all now for Clay Buchholz. He'll depart after five and two thirds as it'll be up to the bullpen to keep his guys in the ball game. Burke Badenhop trot in from the bullpen as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two out. Rob Quinlan will step in now. Fastball by him here, 0 and 1. And now offensively, you can't be content with just two here in the inning. That could be a very important third run over there at third base. Fastball that looked pretty good, but it's one and one. Runners on first and third, two away. Buck with the sign, now the one and one. Now a ball swung on and hit high in the air and deep to left center field. This ball has a chance. And gone! A home run! So a three-run shot to left center, and it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. Yeah, and he may have gone to the well one too many times there, and it's going to wind up costing him. Once you give a hitter an idea for the speed and delivery of that thing, he'll learn how to handle it, and I think he handled it about as well as he could there. Cliff Lee will stand in. He's one for two so far. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And it looks like this five-run six is just what the doctor ordered. And 
And he lays off for ball one. Here's the 1-1 pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Fouled straight back. Two out, nobody on. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. foul. Here he comes again, one, two. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. But not before five cross the plate with the big blow being this three-run home run. On to the bottom of the six. It's the Phillies five and the Marlins one. Wes Helms standing to lead things off as the Marlins look to get things started here in their half of the sixth. Swung on and lifted in the air with some carry out towards left center. Quinlan will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Well, if he can keep things going, he stands to be the winning pitcher in this one, and that would be number 15 on the year. Emilio Bonifacio will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. and In trailing by four runs here in the six, you really need to pick up the pace offensively. The next pitch. Ball two now. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And now for the second batter in a row. This is in the air out to left field. Quinlan is going to have room, though, as he backs up to put it away. And there are two men gone. Well, just one mistake against this guy to this point. That solo home run way back in the first inning. He's been exceptionally sharp since. Hanley Ramirez steps in now. And that misses for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now 
Now it's 2-0. and oh. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. and And now that strike zone is starting to dance around on him a bit. Now the 3-0 and offering. This one catches the inside corner for strike one. He can afford to be patient here because all he's looking to do is get on base and do his damage from there. is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two and this would be a big comeback down three and off he could get another strike here now a ball lined toward right center and this is going to find the alley. Extra bases here for Ramirez. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he is in the second with a two-out double. You want to talk about being on top of your game. That's the first base runner he's allowed since way back in the very first inning. He might not even remember how to work out of the stretch. Chris Coughlin will stand in and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Just off the outside and it's 1-0. And he's got a five-game hitting streak at the plate that's starting to come into jeopardy. one out pitch is a circle change. It runs outside 2-0. With two outs and a base open, I don't think he's going to see anything here the rest of the at-bat. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's two and one. And when things are going bad, it seems like these calls always go against you. Fouled straight back. Well hit to right, but that's a foul ball. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again, still two and two. And this is hauled in by the catcher Ruiz, and that'll be that. Time for another look at the scoreboard tonight as this time we check the action in the American League.
Randy Choate is on the pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Shane Victorino will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Swing, hard hit ball to second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. And sometimes it seems if you're left-handed and you've got a heartbeat, they'll find a job for you. He's turned this left-handed specialist stuff into a very nice career. Placido Polanco will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Here's the first offering. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And that misses one and one. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. He was summoned out of the bullpen fairly quickly here. It looks to me like he may not be fully warmed up yet. Strike, two called, and it's even at two. low so a good eye there as he works the count back full now you got the big thunder coming next so you do not want to lose this guy Takes ball four, so a good job of running the count full and then coaxing out the pass. And boy, those last few pitches there were nowhere close to the strike zone. When you've got two strikes on a guy, you've got a little more margin for error, but not that much. Chase Utley will step in. Singleton came around to score his last time. Turns on a fastball here and sends it deep down the right field line. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A two-run home run for Chase Utley. 
29 home runs for him on the year as it's now a six-run ball game. And the way things are going, this guy's end-of-the-year highlight video is going to be a pretty long one. Add one more chapter here as this leaves the yard for a two-run homer. Edward Mojica will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Ryan Howard will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Here's a swing and a ground ball, and Howard's going to have himself a base hit. Even with a left-hander at the plate, they went out and got a righty from the pen, and the results were not quite what they wanted. Dominic Brown will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. Runner at first, Howard the pitch. And this is up and in, ball one. Too quick that time as that ball's grounded foul. No, that's a foul ball! Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Mm, just overmatched him there. And he takes... Very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. Now a ball sprayed foul into the seats near third. Pitch is lined into left field, and he's got his second hit of the evening. And the throw will come back in quickly, so it's first and second now with only one away. And you check this out. This is on the inside part of the plate, but he still is able to take it to the opposite field. I'll tell you, that is back control at its finest right there. Carlos Ruiz will dig in, looking for hit number three in the ballgame. Inside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. And the one piece of good news here, this guy's a double play waiting to happen. And he falls behind now, 2-0. and oh. When you're down by six on the mound, You've got to at least throw strikes here. Lays 
He's off, and it's 3-0. Boy, this is just getting worse and worse for him. We certainly don't want to walk the bases loaded. Here he comes on 3-0. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And the run will score from second base as they've upped it now to 8-1. to Well, if you want to point fingers at who's to blame for this disaster, you're going to need both hands. I mean, the pitching, the batting, the defense, the execution. Just draw a line through this one. This one's been an absolute disaster. Chris Volstad will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Wilson Valdez will step in, an RBI single this last time around. On the ground to second base, this could be two. Ramirez on to Sanchez, and it's a double play, and that ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. Get up and stretch, home half of the seventh coming up. It's the Phillies eight and the Marlins one. Gabby Sanchez will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ballgame. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. Victorino is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. And this has been an important start for these guys because late in the season, it's always a plus to give your bullpen a break whenever you can. So one gone in the inning now, and here's the right fielder, Mike Stanton. Now here's the first pitch. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Oh, one is a circle change that's over for a cold strike. And he has consistently hit that spot so far, unlike his counterpart who could not seem to locate his pitches. And he looks at a ball, one and two. This pitch sails up and in, and that leaves him muttering to himself. It's ball two. And this one's about eye level, and I can tell you from experience, that one's no fun as a hitter. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. And here's a look at his pitches by inning so far. He's at 84 total for the game, so they're getting near the point where they'll need to start keeping tabs on him. 
Ronnie Belliard will dig in now, hitless in his two at-bats so far. Right field. And Brown will put this one away, and that ends the inning. Florida down in order. It's still an 8-1 to one ball game. Rob Quinlan will stand in again as we flash you back here to inning number 6. This was his three-run home run that's really been the key blow to this point in the ballgame. First pitch coming. Now he's swinging a ball line softly out to right. And that's in there. Base hit. Leadoff man reaches again here for Philadelphia. That's been a key ingredient to how they've built this lead so far. Cliff Lee will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Change up too low and it's 1-0. and oh. And remember, Lee pulled one back and doubled during the World Series last year, so that has to be in the back of your mind. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. And that's going to give him another great hitting count here on 2-0. and oh. you know, No wonder they're up by seven. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. This is a terrible time to lose your command. That's the pitcher up there. Three and one. And he obeys the unwritten baseball rule there of not swinging three and all oh with a huge lead. The 3-1 coming. And it misses ball four. And he's just committed the cardinal sin there, Dave, of walking the opposing pitcher. Yep, a single and then a walk to start the inning. You know, this is exactly how big innings get started. So they're set up now to maybe put up a crooked number here. Shane Victorino will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. And with two on and no out, you could call this both a strikeout situation or a double play situation. He'd be happy to take either. Wait. 
ball one. And still nobody out here, so you need to straighten out your location problems in a hurry. Here's the 1-1 now to Victorino. In for his strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. And with a walk and a single to his first two batters, he could dearly use a punch out to batter number three. None out, runners at first and second. And he fights this one off to stay alive. Oh. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Stanton has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Placido Polanco will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. Ramirez. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Chase Utley will stand in again and we'll take you back to the seventh inning. This was a two-run home run and it was one of the key blows in the ball game thus far. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And you always want to get that first pitch strike in there when you've got to face a dangerous hitter like this. Oh, and he puts some muscle into this one. High and deep out to center field. Coughlin is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Phillies leave a couple, and it remains an 8-1 to one ball game. John Buck will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. First pitch on its way from Lee. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. And here in the eighth inning, he's amazingly still just two over the minimum. Fastball called for strike two. And these guys are really starting to look like a team that's defeated. They're not even offering at good pitches right now. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off.
And they come back with one that misses, but Buck's still in the hole here, one and two. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Near the stands, and he brings this one back in. He took that right out of the first row. Wow! Well, this takes all sorts of concentration. He won't get any help over there being in an enemy ballpark, but he's able to lean in and make the play. Scott Cousins will dig in. 0 for 2 thus far. Here's a fastball at the knees, and that location has paid off for him so far. It's 0-1. Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, in general, the more you can work in that lower half of the zone, the more success you're going to have. Come on. 1-1. One A 1-1 from Lee. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. And he misses low here, so the count goes to 3-1. and one. And you can tell he's starting to give away a little ground out there now. Maybe a few miles an hour off that fastball. Wes Helms is on deck. In there for a called strike. Three and two now. Popped up towards the seats as this gets out of play. That's well. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Swing and a liner toward right center. And that's a base hit. Well, the hits have certainly been few and far between so far. Just their third hit of the ball game, and we're in any number eight. From an offensive standpoint, you know, that's just not going to get it done. Wes Helms will stand in 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And he's hardly even had to work out of the stretch so far. This is almost like a new experience for him out there. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. These have both been easy takes so far. Neither one of these pitches really approaching the strike zone. And this one's over at the knees, two and one. Yeah. 
And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Brown back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Eight to one our score as you look at our in-game line score. This one pretty much all over but the shouting. And it would appear we'll have a pinch hitter here as Omar Infante has grabbed a bat and made his way into the on-deck circle. one. Boy, and any time you can turn to a guy with double-digit home runs on your bench, now that's a luxury to have. Here's Lee now on 1-0. and oh. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And we're going to have a quick stoppage here as a beach ball has made its way into right field. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. lays off two and two now and now an important pitch here because if you go three and two that's going to activate the runner the two two now from Lee and he takes ball three so it's a full count now and one benefit of this extra patience is the runner at first will get a head start on three and two. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. to left and a dive in left but he can't get it it'll get by him toward the wall around third and being waved on home and the runner will score from first well and you can't ask for much more than that they turn to the bench here and he comes through with a knock that is nice work Henley Ramirez will get another crack one for three thus far now in that Phillies bullpen as the right-hander Ryan Matson starts to loosen up. Here's the first pitch to him. And he lays off there 1-0. Yeah, when guys start missing up late in the ball game, it can sometimes be a warning flag. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. One one pitch on the way. And that misses two and one. Now a ball 
pulled deep down the left field line, but it's going to be a foul ball. Hit hard, but foul. Looks at a fastball low here, and it's full. Three and two. And you can't afford to walk them here, so we'll see if they stay with the hard stuff on three and two. Misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. And finally, a good show of patience after their guys had been swinging at everything. That's just the first walk they've taken so far. Chris Coglin will go back now. He popped out in foul ground last time. Swing and a bullet to the right side. But there to glove it is the first baseman, Howard, and that will end the inning. Marlins get one here on a couple of hits. We played eight full. Phillies on top, eight to two. Time for one last look at our National League scoreboard to see what's happening elsewhere. Clay Hensley will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Ryan Howard will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. And this ball will be chopped foul. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Three. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. And you've got to be braver than a bullfighter to challenge this guy with a fastball. But he fires it right by him for the strikeout. Dominic Brown will dig in. He singled his last time around. Now here's the first pitch. 
Not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. and Yeah, and sometimes the tide of an at-bat hinges on an umpire's call. We could easily be 0-1 right now. Now a swing and a ball lofted down the right field line and fairly deep. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Well, obviously you can never have too big a lead heading into the bottom of the ninth. So with a runner at second now, they'll try and tack on at least one more. Carlos Ruiz will dig in again. He singled home a run his last time. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And the way this pitching staff has worked so far, he's been more like a goalie than a catcher behind the plate. 1-0 pitch now. And this is fouled back and out of play. Fastball called strike, one and two. And that misses, and we're even at two and two. low so a good eye there as he works the count back full well he's determined to get him to chase that slider sooner or later come on let's get this job done grounded foul Bye -bye. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. The 3 2 one more time. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Bonnie oh, took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. Coughlin is back to the warning track, though, as he gloves it for the second out. Oh, and the throw sails. It's over his head. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, guys. Even their outs are loud tonight. They haven't been getting cheated so far, that's for sure. Wilson Valdez will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. And this is fouled straight back. He waits. Now the pitch. And this will be fouled away. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Base hit and that'll get a run in. Yeah, 
And that could really be the nail in the coffin right there as it's going to take a miracle to blow this big lead in the bottom of the ninth. Rob Quinlan will stand in. Two hits, including a homer thus far. Line hard to the left side, but foul. Now a slider swung on and lifted into shallow center field. Coglin is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Phillies get a couple of hits here, and it leads to one on the scoreboard. Part of the order, three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. Philadelphia is on top, nine to two. Charlie Manuel making his way toward home plate here, so it appears we'll have a double switch coming up. Ryan Madsen will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Gabby Sanchez will be the batter. Swing and he rockets this one down the left field line. And that is going to be a base hit. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. New pitcher in there, just wanting to get ahead to start the inning, and whack, a leadoff double has him in trouble before he even knew what hit him. Michael Stanton will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. And the throw sinks on him here as he can't quite dig it out at the bag. Well, these guys are on their way to a win, so this probably won't cost them that much. But still, you got to keep your head in the game and not take anything for granted. Ronnie Belliard will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Change up a little bit inside, 1-0. and oh. And even though a fly ball will get you a run, you have to think base hit here with a deficit what it is. Belliard awaits the 1-0. Oh. In for a strike, it's 1-1. One and, one. and he'll just live on the black right there. Out in front here as this is pulled down the third baseline. 
And this is past Polanco down the line. A fair ball. Well, give them credit. They won't go easily here in the night. It'll probably be too little too late, but at least it shows they got a little bit of fire to them. John Buck will stand in. He flew out his last time up. First offering on the way. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1-1. Yeah, he needed that one. You know, something to give him a little bit of confidence. And there's a swing and a miss, and Buck gets behind 0-2 now. Oh, and one thing you just can't have here at the plate is a strikeout. Now a ground ball towards the hole. A run is in. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Yeah, no need to come home here. You're just looking for outs at this point, so that's a smart idea to get the sure one. Scott Cousins will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. Lays off 1-0. and And this is a big opportunity here for a young player to prove himself to his new ball club. <laughs> Fastball at 94 miles an hour and it's 1-1. One and one. In there, one and two now. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. Pause, now the pitch. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. And in the minors, maybe once in a batch, you're going to get a mistake pitch that's left out over the plate. But here in the big time, these pitchers, especially the veteran ones, are much more refined out there. I mean, much tougher. Wes Helms will stand in as their last chance now. First pitch coming. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one.
And he changed up on him here, but this is a foul ball. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. And he's got himself a base hit. And it bounces around down there now. The relay, but he'll get in there with an RBI double. And now hang on just a minute here. This ball game looked like it was just about over not too long ago, but now three runs have scored here in the inning, and that opposing dugout still has a little bit of life to it. John Baker will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. swing and he just fouls this one away. He's set now the pitch and he misses with it one and one. And he can't worry at all about that runner at second. I mean his run means nothing. Just go right at the guy at the plate. Fouled back. And this is in the dirt, but Ruiz able to block it nicely. The 2 2 coming. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. 3 and 2. Yeah, when you leave it up in the hitter's eyes like that, he knows enough not to chase out there. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. And he'll make the final out to put an end to this one. And the Phillies have put an end to their four-game slide as this ball game is over. Boy, and the manager cannot ask for much more than this. It is always good to come out and take that series opener on the road. Offensively here tonight, we're led by the exploits of this man, Chase Utley. Take a snapshot of that. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, man, you can see a couple of hits, including an important home run, and he really supplied the difference in this game as far as I'm concerned. Just about wrap things up. For Dave Campbell and Eric Harris, I'm Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. This has been a presentation of MLB 11 The Show. For more, get out your smartphones and click on over to theshownation.com. The Phillies win this one 9-5. to A postgame highlight package is next, so until next time, good night from South Florida.